Hey, welcome back to Qtile. This is a video about, well, the configuration files. In Qtile, we have a folder called scripts and we're gonna take a look at all these scripts here. So Qtile is actually launched with this thing, but at the end somewhere it says, well, go and get this auto start sh. And what is in there? So auto start sh is opened in Atom, it's bash, so shell scripts and it's going to look awesome in color if you well tell it to be a shell script now this this little uh, file is actually a file that we use and reuse in the tiling window managers often you would like to well set your screen res resolution if that's uh, an issue then you have this you can Google for X render, A render, L X render, and um, figure out what output you should have. There are lots of tutorials about that on articlinux.com or articlinux.d.com. Um, there's also the possibility if you are in trouble with your keyboard layout, you can set it with this code. But basically, we inset our code straight away in our Calamaris installer, and everything is just fine out of the box. But nevertheless, that's the code if you need it to be in German, DE or something. We would like to have a uh, first load up. We load up first a uh, wallpaper, which is going to be this guy, which is coming from Marco. We appreciate his creativity and sharing his wallpapers. So here it is, and it's included in our um, distro here. So that's this line, Go go get me this wallpaper and load it up that's the v command and the conkey that we see every time we boot up is the conkey that's going to give our um, keyboard shortcuts and the first minutes you actually go for um here it was go for uh, to learn about tiling window managers then that's the place to go to see what keyboard shortcuts are there and then something happens, so run, 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 let's run, why not walk? Well, run is a function. The function run is going to check if there is an application that's already running, don't do anything. Don't launch variety twice, don't launch nm applet twice. So these guys up here, so the, N, the nm applet is this guy and all that, um, just run it once. So variety is your wallpaper changer. There are lots of article about, uh, articles about that as well. If you don't like it, if you want to change it, if you want to tweak it, lots of uh, tutorials about that. Then McTray is there to know if there is an update. So it's a more visual kind of thing to know what's actually installed in these repos from Arch Linux. The testing is now here. I am testing an Arch Linux Qtile at this point in time, but this is only if you activate it by the, by the way. So I'm beta testing this Qtile thing, but if you want to see what's installed, what's coming from Arch Linux, this is Arch Linux, Arch Linux, Arch Linux, Arch Linux, right? And these guys are from Arch Linux. And so did I say that wrong? So these four are Arch Linux and these guys are Arch Linux. Okay, I think I had said it wrong. So numeric locks is on. It depends if you're on a laptop that has a very small keyboard, maybe your, your numeric key lock is on and you can't type the letters P and O and Q and LM and all that. So whether you like it on or off, that's up to you. The blueberry tray, so I have my um, Bluetooth headset available if I need it. And then he says, go and get me, uh, well, launch content first, but where do I get the configuration file? Well, that's going to be coming from here. If you do an action that needs you to become root then you get this pop-up hey give in the password of your root account and that's basically why this is launched and the notified daemon is something like uh, you are connected wirelessly or you have changed the, the song in spotify and stuff like that some notifications the volume icon is up here so if you want to set your volume or right mouse click open the mixer preferences so this is my, uh, well, a way to set all the preferences, but main, mainly we'd like to have the Pavu control. So right mouse click, um, sorry, that's the wrong one. 
right mouse click open mixer is the pavu control or control alt u is the same thing so we have a shortcut for that control alt u so volume icon is there just for some music and in sync is starting at this point in time for me that's dropbox for i well it's a google drive cloud service that's better like dropbox which is a little bit higher and so many others I have screen key running, which is actually this little this little thing he, up here. So when I press Ctrl T, you see what I press. Well, it's now behind there. <laughs> Normally you see what I press. So that's basically our auto start. And um, let's divide maybe um, this video in some pieces. So if you want to add some stuff, you can do so, add some applications, you want to run caffeine so it always stays awake, your system never goes to sleep, uh, things like that. Discord is going to be started when it's an, an actual working SSD, I'll launch Telegram, Discord, stuff like that. All right, um, that's it about how to start and see you next video.